Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to show you uh, the, uh, the Python program that I've created for calculating the mean, median, and mode of a data. Uh, so for this uh, program, I have first created three, uh, uh, three sub-programs for finding the mode, median, and mean respectively. And then I've created a master program for executing these three programs and give us and to give us the output of the uh, data or the input that we have entered. Okay. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, see all uh, all these three programs um, and also the master LM, and then we, uh, we will run the program and see if we get uh, if, um, see the answers. Uh, so let's start. Uh, so first, let's start with the mode program. Over here, um, you can see the mode program that I've written. Uh, so first, I have stored the data that is L in an array, in an array, uh, and then I have written an if else statement, uh, an if else statement, uh, and for loop statement. Sorry, a for loop statement for finding the uh, the number that is repeat uh, repeating in the data. Uh, so the number uh, that will be repeating in the data, uh, the, the, the program will pick that uh, that number and then that will be showed as the output. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So as you can see, the for loop over, I've written uh, written the uh, written the program for uh, finding middle value. Uh, then I uh, then moving on to our median program. Uh, uh, um, I have again stored uh, stored the data in an array. Uh, uh, then what I have done is that I have sorted the data, sorted the data. Um, and then I created an if else statement for finding the middle value, whether it is an even pair or an odd pair. Okay. Um, as you can see, the if else statement over here. Okay, and then I've uh, then I uh, then uh, the middle pair that will be shown as the output in the median uh, in the output. Um, uh, okay, uh, and then moving forward, we have the mean program. Um, in the mean program, I've again stored uh, stored the data in an uh, array, um, and then again I use the for loop. For, uh, for first uh, finding the total of the data that is uh, entered, uh, and then I have divided that uh, the sum of those uh, numbers uh, by the length um, you know, length of the uh, data. So that will be the mean. That is the uh, sum of the uh, sum of the numbers in the data divided by the length of the data. Okay. So um, that will be shown as the output, and then. I have written a program, a, a master program. Um, um, uh, over here, I have first written a number list from which we will be able to input the numbers. Uh, then I have written a while loop for uh, for um, that will show us the input statement. So the input statement that I have put in is that enter a number and type stop to end. Okay, so that will be shown when we uh, when we are entering the numbers. Okay, and uh, it will stop. Uh, it will um, it will only stop when we type uh, stop. Okay, um, then I have written an if uh, if statement for breaking the loop if uh, if we have written stop. Okay, uh, then I have written uh, at the last I have written the output the how the output should come, um, as you can see over here. At how the output should come. So, uh, the, so uh, like this, I've created the whole program by uh, by the three sub programs. And um, so now, as we have seen the whole uh, whole program um, and the sub programs, so the master program. Uh, let's run this program and see um, uh, see uh, see whether we have, we get the answer or not. Um, uh, so uh, let me just run the program again. So let me just run the program here. Uh, okay. So as you can see, we're here we've got the run module, which is going to show us the output. Um, Okay, so as you can see over here, uh, the uh, the uh, the input statement that I had put in the program, um, as you can see over here, 
that ask is equal to input. Let me just bring this up here. Um, ask is equal to input, enter a number, and type stop to end. Over here, also it is showing that only. So we have to enter the numbers. Um, enter the numbers. And just a minute, let me just full screen. Let's just go to full screen. And then I'm gonna uh, enter uh, enter the numbers. Um, for which we have to find the mean, median, and mode for. So I'm gonna type the numbers 1, 22, uh, 45, again 45, um, and 78. Okay, and then I'm gonna write stop for uh, to stop the program. Um, and then when, once I press enter, I'm gonna find the mean. Uh, I'm gonna see uh, see the output, which is the mean, median, and mode of the data that we have written over here. Okay, so the mean uh, mean of this pro, uh, this data that is 1, 22, 45, 45, and 78 is 38.2. Okay. So the sum divided by the number, uh, the length, which is five, that means to say one plus twenty-two plus forty-five plus forty-five plus seventy-eight divided by two is equal to thirty point two. So that is the mean. That's the average. Okay. Uh, and then the median is forty-five because the middle term, because there are five numbers, that's odd pair. So suppose I have five, uh, five number, uh, five, uh, five uh, fingers. I have the five fingers over here. So the five, uh, the data, uh, data is one. 22, 45, 45, and 78, as I have written over here. So there are five numbers. So the middle, uh, so the middle, um, middle of these five fingers will be this, the third one. So the middle of uh, these five numbers is uh, 45. So that's why I've got the output as 45 in the median place. Okay. And then in the mode I've got 45 again because I've uh, I have uh, written uh, I have um, you know I have written 45 um, uh, two times so that's why the number that is repeating um, uh, that will be consider uh, that is the mode of the program uh, of the data so um, like this I've created a program of how to find the mean median and mode of a data in Python. So I hope you enjoyed this video a lot and if you did, uh, do not forget to like and subscribe and uh, also share this video if, if you found, uh, found it helpful. Um, uh, till then, see you next time. Bye bye.